What's up, Internet? This is Kaz from Minecraft Friends here doing a tutorial this week on Multiverse Plugin. Uh, this is a fantastic plugin. You start getting a little more in-depth in with your world management. It just allows you to have multiple worlds rather than the default three. Like uh, Survival Games plugin uses this. A lot of the big pl uh, servers use this just to multi-use management. Uh, I use it. We ha I have a VIP creative world, and I'm starting to have a tutorial or a trial period world. So that's what I use it for. So let's, um, it's great. Now there's a little bit of a trouble with it right now uh, because with the 1.46, a lot of stuff broke. So if you're seeing errors or access isn't working, stuff like that, uh, use the dev plugin um, and it, everything should work fine. So let's look at the config file. It's pretty basic. Most of the stuff's done in game, which I think is fantastic. The authors have a great wiki um, and they've really built a really nice plugin here. Um, it's actually one of three plugins that uh, I find very useful. This is just multi multi world management. They also have a portal one so that you can travel between them. Uh, there's a few other plugins that we use this too, like uh, X uh, Wormhole and Stargate, which is what I use. Uh, but their portal one is really nice. And then also, I would highly recommend getting inventories if you plan on having a creative world for your VIP members or donators or whatever you want to call them. It uh, separates inventories between worlds so that people can't uh, just spawn stuff, bring it back, and be good to go. All right, let's look at the, conf the config file here. Uh, it's pretty basic. Not a whole lot going on here. The one thing to note is the enforce access. If you want to restrict uh, so people don't have access to all your worlds, uh, you want to put that to true. I'll go over how you would then put it in your permissions file later. Uh, the prefix chat, I think by default that's true. I usually do a false because it'll just put the world name before everything else that they say. It's kind of uh, cumbersome. It's a little bit big, but you know that's how it goes. A lot of, some people have used it. So you can also sync your, or set your first spawn world in here. Uh, mine's alpha. That's my trial world for all my new users. And uh, that's about it for that. Let's hop into the game. Everything else is done in the game. Here we go. All right, now here we are back in the game. Uh, in the game, this is uh, my trial town, which is very not popular right now because I haven't opened it to the public yet. But anyway, we'll use this. Uh, the first basic command you can do is just MV. That's the alias for multiverse. It's a lot easier than typing out multiverse. So just do MV list. Now that's going to list all the worlds that you have, the type of world they are. Now, we're, ours is pretty basic. We just have two extra worlds, a resource world and the alpha or trial town, whatever you want to call it. Now, you can I'm not going to do this right now, but you can import a world, and then you would just put in, you, using this command, mv import world, and then the world name, and then the environment, which there's only really three. There's normal, nether, or end, and it'll randomly generate that world that looks like that. Now... Uh, there's if you want to create a new world you just do MV create and I'll just call it test because we're gonna do this right now um, and then you want to do I'll just do normal you can set your seed if you do dash s and then this you know the seed number whatever you want to call it and then also they have this fun little feature you can you people can create generators which are make custom kind of worlds there's some pretty fun ones in there I haven't played with them yet but like the Nordic one looks interesting and uh, that kind of stuff. And you can all, you can, whatever the name of the generator is here. And another interesting thing is you can, you can uh, put the dash T and then type in flat. Now all of these are optional. You don't have to put any of these in, but this will then spawn a flat world, which is very nice. That's really the only thing. We're just going to leave it normal because that's what we're going to do for this one. So we're just going to start creation of the world. So. If you do want to create a world with spaces in it, you have to put quotes around the world name or else it'll error out and it won't actually create it. All right, there we go. Now it's complete. The one thing that you want to do if you want to teleport to it is you have to do MVTP and then the name of the world. So now there we go. We're teleported to it. It's uh, running a little slow to load, but that's how it goes. And then once you're in here, let's say you don't like the spawn that it, it set you as. Let's just move over here. We can do MV set spawn. And then it's going to set the spawn just for that world, by the way. All right. So if you want to delete it, you can do MV delete uh, test. I don't think it'll work because I'm in here. But um, if I can type. 
And then uh, you'll have to do MV confirm. It just will make sure. You can um, remove it from your list if you'd like. If you wouldn't like to delete it, just MV remove. Same thing. Uh, now there's a whole list of settings that you can set up in here, which are really nice. And uh, <clears throat> the command, the full command is multiverse space modify, but they set an alias up here of MVM, which I use, which is multiverse modify, and then you'll do set, and then the whole list of commands. I'll put links for all this stuff in the description, so don't worry about it. But there's some pretty fun ones in here. You can set your PvP, the difficulty, monster spawn... Um, you can even set the price for how much it would cost to get there. And then you can even use a custom currency to that's separate from your plugin, uh, your currency plugin. If you want it to cost five dirt blocks to go there, you would do MV set and then currency. And then you would use the item ID that you would use. So dirt blocks, I believe is three or stone. I know that's one. Um, and then you would do MV MVM set uh, price and then the amount. So if you're doing the custom currency, let's say it's five stone blocks or whatever, if you haven't set up the custom currency and you just put in 100, it's going to pull it from the your economy plugin, that kind of stuff. Um, you can also set up the scale in here, kind of like how the Nether works, where it's a bigger scale. You can travel between them. The other thing that's really nice um, for people who want to reduce the memory usage is you can do MV set memory false uh, for test. And then that, that won't keep the spawn in the memory so that people will st keep uh, uh, stuff will run a little bit better. The other thing you can do in here, which is nice, is you can limit the players that can join to it. Um, you know, just for speeding things up again. Uh, the other thing that I like to do, I don't, I don't like portals everywhere, so I uh, put in portal form deny, which will deny the act, the ability to create portals. That's kind of nice. The other thing, the last thing that's really nice is you can do do MV set um, color blue test. So now, when it shows up in your list, it's blue. You can change the, the color. You can even change the alias, what it would show up as. It's pretty nice. Um, you can change the style if it's italics or underlined or bold or whatever. That's kind of fun. So the last thing that I want to go over is just the permissions aspect of it. One key thing, if you're an admin, do this or else you'll get really frustrated. Add yourself to this permission. I'll type it in here just so it's easier to see. It's... MV bypass game mode, add that to your player. That way, whenever you move to a new uh, a new world, it won't um, reset your game mode. That's awesome. I it took I was frustrated the first week I was using this plugin until I found that. The last one is um, how you set up people's. Actually, I'll just I'll put it up in here. All right. Uh, the last part is you want to put multi-world, multiverse.access.world or what the world name is that you want people to have access to if you've enforced access. Now, the key thing is this. You need to put this in for all worlds. So if you actually think ahead like I did and go, oh, well, people will need to use it, get access to the nether in the end. But then you don't add the world. They can't get back. So you got to put all of those worlds in there that you want them to have access to. You can't just add you know, like the VIP one, you got to set the defaults. Um, that's pretty much it. It's a great plugin. Next week, I'll hit up Portal, and then the week after that, I'll do the, the inventories. And uh, that should be all. Um, enjoy the game. <laughs>